back in the shop again. Been working like crazy on stuff. Got the die ready. Punching leaf springs. Been, I checked it out. I, I cut paper first, believe it or not. Make sure everything was right. And even before I hardened uh, all the sharp, all the, all the blades, I wanted to make sure everything was pretty good. So these are the first one, two, five pieces I cut. There they are. Leaf springs. And that's progressive die, you know. So you got to continually move everything down. Every time you finish a size, you got to move it to the next size. So I've been doing one at a time here. It certainly takes me a lot longer to um, change it over than it does to make it. But you got to remember, I'm going to be making um, a lot of the one size. I have a little counter thing over here. Little, you know, just every time the thing cycles, it's going to be hooked up to that, and it'll just tell me if I want 40 pieces. I wait till it goes up to 40 or 45, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, that's the uh, that that's what will uh, determine, you know, how many pieces I need for a certain given spring. Now, right at the moment, I have these little pieces here that you can see they're offset. Well, that's because it punches here at this area here, okay. And then it cuts over here. So that gives you the first section of it. Meaning that's the first hole to the edge. Okay. Then it goes out to the stop, cuts that piece off, starts a second one. So only be because I'm, I can't, what am I going to do with these? So i got to figure out a way to, to utilize these. Maybe puncture a hole in the middle. and uh, That hole doesn't mean anything. I, I just wouldn't sell it that way. Um, I'll... Um, figure out what to do with it. But anyhow, this is the material here. I got this stuff from McMaster Card. I see this one here is um, the last one I cut was, um, let's see, was, um, well, three and a half. Okay, so this is two and three quarters from the hole to the end. So that means if I'm putting a two inch one, well, it's a four inch rather, it's going to be off a quarter of an inch on one side or half an inch. So, I just what I generally do is just cut it off. So I just go in, go to just past the hole a little bit, and lop it off and get rid of it. So here we go. I'm gonna just chop that piece off. Boing! Come flying out of there like no tomorrow. Now that's really no good right now. So now we're gonna go in to the stop, hit it again. Now the big problem I got right at the moment is that it gets stuck in here. So I have on the um, Oh, there it is, actually. And that's the next one in the progression. So that goes on here. And it's, as you see, it's starting to give the, the stair, the steps there. And it's looking real good. So now i got to switch it all over to the next size, which is a whole lot of fun. But um, it's coming along. Uh, I'm working on the other die over there uh, for punching the slots. Um, Pretty much done with that. I got to just make another stripper play for it, amount the punch and sharpen it and so on. But otherwise, it, it's completed, and um, I'll probably use some of these here scraps to test it. And then when I'm all said and done, I'll punch the actual ones. But what I'm also going to do, I'm going to buy some of this. This is from K and S Special Shapes. I'm going to buy some of this stuff and figure out what the length is. And I have the punch already here, so I just put it into the stop and uh, punch it. And then I want to have a little die. And I'll have to use the arbor press to do this because this has only got a one inch downstroke. And I'm going to make them probably two inches or whatever. Figure out how long the spring needs to be high. And figure it out and have a hole in the middle and then put it on some kind of a forming punch. And just push it in the arbor press and push it down and bring the sides up. So that becomes what's called the shackle around. So it'll go around the um, springs in the center to stop them from doing this, like twisting like a propeller. And after a while, it'll do that. So that stops that from doing that. And then I also have to make the bottom piece. But it fits the um, 1032 bolt pretty nicely. And uh, I got a good feeling about it. They're going to work out really great. 
So uh, I'm going to switch the die over now, and uh, I'll punch another one and show you how it punches. I'll get a close-up of the punching. Okay, got the dial all changed over, and uh, not too bad. I mean, what I need to get, I think, is a small quarter-inch socket with a um, or some Allen wrenches in there, and it'd be nice if I had an Allen wrench with a ratchet on it, with the one for the quarter inch and one for the three sixteenth size, so I can just put it on one side and one on the other side, and. Um, uh, that would save, save a lot of trouble, but you don't have to do it that often. I mean, you know, you're doing 40, 50 pieces of one size, and then you're going to change it. So, so far, it's working out pretty good. I used a, a punch here. It came from a Diacro machine, which is a Roper Whitney. is the same thing. They have turret punch where you got a myriad of different sizes, squares and whatnot, and I used that. And the same thing with the square rectangular holes, I should say. Um, anyway... Um, what my plan is to supply builders with the entire system, I mean, all the springs, the shackles, um, probably material to make the bottom pieces. They can make those, maybe. You know, they're just three eighths, but they have a little lip on them to hold the shackle or the, the um, yeah, I guess they're called shackles, the things that go around the brass so they don't pop out. It holds them in place. But uh, I thought I would supply this part with it too just as, a, as an additive. And then, of course, you know, if you choose to have the slots, you're going to get the seat, the hanger itself, and then the pin, flat special pin. And then from there, you could uh, do whatever you need to go uh, down to the um, equalizer that's in between the drivers. So <coughs> um, I want to do the whole system. So now I want to punch off the first one and uh, we'll get a close-up of that. Okay, here we go. Bada bing! Move it out to the stop. Use my manual. Hit it again. Get a little light on there. A little extra light. I right, just, just wanted to follow up. Um, before I ended the video, there's a completed spring. It's just beautiful, man. Look at that thing. That's uh, 16 leaves. So what I did is I used the seven inch, the top ones. I put three, then two of the six and a half, two of the six, and then singles all the way down to inch and a half. So it's inch and a half. <coughs> Excuse me, inch and a half, two. Two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six, six and a half, six and a half, seven, seven, seven. So that's 14 leaves. Comes out to 800, 800,000. So if you want an even number 875, add one more. 25,000 is the difference. But um, now I'm going to punch the slots at the end here. So it looks like to me, what I know about the slots is that, uh, I'm looking for a scale. Here it is going to be uh, about three inches center so and about three quarters so I'm going to probably have to go through the first one two three four five six seven about the first eight not fifth one but five inches so that's for the seven then progressively if you use this only only want to go to six and a half as far as you want to go that's going to be a little different so each and probably to the step will be probably to the six or maybe Maybe no lower than the five and a half. That'll be the uh, the last one that you could get punched with the holes. Otherwise, it's just not going to be right. It's too short. Um, but anyway, here it is. I got to make the shackle. Bing, bing, bing around like that. Cut the slots. Coming out beautiful. That's it for now. Couplers are coming. Start looking for the ads. Um, see you when I get the slots. Thanks for watching.